Hello everyone, I'm Alia Dibu. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm finally back with another book review. This time I'm reviewing Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This is the sixth book in the series and of course it's published by Bloomsbury and written by J.K. Rowling. This was published on 16th July 2005. So let's get straight on to the book review. After Sirius's death in the fifth book, Order of the Phoenix, Harry is visited by Dumbledore and Dumbledore takes him to the Weasley's house and he also takes Harry to meet Horace Slughorn. Horace Slughorn was an ex-professor in Hogwarts. He teached potions and Dumbledore wants him back at Hogwarts but first, at first Slughorn's reluctant because we all know Hogwarts is very dangerous. But after he realizes that he'll be teaching the famous Harry Potter, whose mother was already one of his favorite students, he eventually agrees. Back at Hogwarts, Snape is finally the defense against the Dark Arts Professor because Slughorn's back. And Harry, of course, forgot to buy any potions book and so did Ron. And, they, and there were like two books left in the classroom or something. And Harry got this old one that had like half-blood prints scribbled on it. And it also had like a whole bunch of things written in it that were much more useful than the things already inside the book. So Harry quickly rose to the top of his class and Slughorn says it's because of his mother, Lily, who was already one of Slughorn's favorites because she was really good at potions. Meanwhile, Dumbledore is educating Harry about Tom Riddle's aka Voldemort's past with memories of people who Tom Riddle had met, including Slughorn, but the memory was actually altered, and Dumbledore wants Harry to find the original memory, or like take the original memory from Slughorn, so Harry joins the Slug Club, which is basically the cool kids club, or just a club for Slughorn's favorites, and Ginny and Hermione are also in the club, but of course, Ron is excluded. Are we even shocked? Like, seriously. Anyways, in that club, for all the members, uh, their Slughorn is conducting a Christmas party, and Hermione asks Ron to go with her, but he's still upset about Victor Crumb. Like, dude, that happened in the fourth book. It's already, it's like the sixth book now. Calm down. And after, like, a Quidditch game, he's, like, made out with Lavender Brown, and it's apparently going out with Lavender Brown. Like, dude, where did she even come from? Anyways, to the Christmas party, Harry goes with Luna, my love good, and he eventually leaves early because Draco is cra like Draco is found crashing the party. And during the holidays, Ron is poisoned because he drank some med that was meant for Dumbledore. But he survives and after he recovers, he starts spending more time with Hermione and because of that, he's dumped by Lavender. Yes. Harry finally uses the luck potion to get the original memory from Slughorn and it shows that Tom Riddle had created six horcruxes. Horcruxes like are like a super dark magic. It basically involves taking a piece of your soul and putting it into an object. And Dumbledore lists the horcruxes of Voldemort and he believes the two were already destroyed and the rest, the four remain. And he also claims that he found another one and he takes Harry with him to like find and destroy the Horcrux. And they apparate to a cave and in the middle of, and in the cave there's like a lake. And in the middle of that lake, even though it's surrounded by protective enchantments, they, find, they finally find a Horcrux. Dumbledore nearly dies while trying to take the Horcrux and he needs Harry's help to get back to Hogwarts and when they do, boom, more bad news. Above the astronomy tower, there's the dark mark. That's the mark used by Death Eaters and they ascend it. They like get on top of the astronomy tower and when they hear footsteps, uh, Dumbledore puts like a protection spell on Harry and Harry is forced to watch Draco climb up the astronomy tower and disarm Dumbledore and he claims that during this entire school year he's been trying to kill Dumbledore and like his entire goal was to kill Dumbledore but he like can't bring himself to do it because I there's still some good in him and then Snape comes in and fires the 
Killing Curse of Ada Kedavra at Dumbledore instead, and then there's the dramatic scene of Dumbledore falling from the Astronomy Tower. After Harry is released from Dumbledore's protection spell, he runs after and like chases Snape, and then tries to use Sectum Sempra, which is a spell that Snape created, and Snape is turn James turns out to be the Half Blood Prince, and he uses the iconic line, "You dare use my own spells against me, Potter." And basically after that, um, Dr Draco and Snape escape and Dumbledore's body is found at the bottom of the astronomy tower and a funeral is held for him on Hogwarts ground and is attended by wizards, wizarding creatures, like basically everyone. And, and it also turns out that the Horcrux was, the uh, Horcrux was fake and Harry vows to find the real Horcrux and Hermione and Ron, of course, promise to help him. And that is the end of the second last book in the Harry Potter series. And wow, I'm so close to finishing the series. And honestly, I wasn't that sad when Dumbledore died. I don't know, maybe I just didn't like him as much as, you know, when Cedric died or any, something like that. Or when Sirius died, but like, whatever. Anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting me. Bye!